Hi, it's Linda from Linda's Paperworks. I wanted to work again in my um, yellow journal, my yellow sunshine journal that I bound the other day. I decided I wanted to work on this inside cover. And the first thing I wanted to do is cover up these tabs that are fabric. This fabric is rather coarse and thick and you can feel it when you run your finger across it. So I wanna glue a sheet of paper over that to just kind of even that out a little bit I'm gonna put other things on here to decorate it and um, put a pocket down here. But I mainly wanted to not, when you put something in that pocket, pretend this is something I'm putting in the pocket, I didn't want it to catch on that fabric when it went in. So it's just another layer on there to kind of make things fit better. But anyway, let's get started. I hope you're having a good day and crafting. If you wanna craft, maybe you don't wanna craft. <laughs> Some days you don't wanna craft. But anyway, it's still hot in Texas, I can tell you that, or at least where we are. But we are surviving so far, the air conditioner's still hanging in there and we walk and come back home and cool off, which I'm thankful for. I'm just using my glue stick on this and I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit of, of Fabri-Tac around the edges to make sure they don't pop up and maybe over the over the fabric, if I can do all that before the glue dries on the, the glue stick dries. Fabri-Tac, the old favorite. I'll just put a little bit on here. And around the edge of this. And I think I just got a string of glue going across there. Okay. I can use my little silicone spreader and spread this glue a little bit. Just a bit here. Mainly just to kind of get it on the edges and to keep it from having a bump spot there when it is stuck on there. And it's a little bit short, but I'm just going to put it down, um, put it down at the top. It's going to have other things glued over the top of it, so it's not really going to show. I just want it to be on there to, to even things out a little bit. Try to get it right down here. It's not hard to just smooth it down. Glue spread out. And you can still see that that fabric is thick there, but I think it'll be okay when I get my other pieces glued on. Now, the other thing I wanted to do was glue this piece of paper to the back of my pocket that I'm going to put at the bottom so that it would have a little ruffle at the top. But I think I cut it too short. I think I'm going to. Um, get another piece of that. It's um, packing paper. And just cut off another piece or tear off another piece. Doesn't have to be perfect. Fortunately. <laughs> Sorry for all the noise. Okay. Order there. I'm hoping this will make it um, make things slide in and out of here smoother than against the against this fabric. It's all turned around where I don't know which way I was thinking was the better side. I kind of like the little um, texture on it, so maybe I'll use that as the front. <laughs> Let's see if this is going to be the right size. A little bit off here. Hope I don't tear it back to the same size as the first one I had. That would not be good. Okay, I think that's going to work okay. And again, I'm just I'm just going to put the uh, glue stick on it. 
I'm gonna put it on the paper. And I'm probably, I think I need to put a little fabric tag on there too so that um, it glues to the, to the fabric better. But if I didn't, just around the edges mainly. I don't think it matters. I'm gonna put this side up. And this is just to give it a little extra layer there with the brown paper sticking up above it. just going to roll that forward and kind of crunch it up so that it just looks a little bit messy and interesting. Just wad it up kind of. Don't look too nice there. Okay. All right, I'm going to bring this back over. Another thing I want to do is put this lace, and um, this lace was wider, and I cut cut it down. I cut the uh, it had this piece underneath here, and I cut that between those two lines, so that um, I just had the scallop. I didn't really like the way it looked. This was this was the edge originally, and I don't like that looks upside down to me. So I want the the round parts to be here. I'm going to glue it over the edge of this page and onto this page to strengthen the the, um, the fold there in the book. Right, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac on this one, I believe, and um, I'm just putting my glue on this lace here, just kind of tapping it in where it's um, got solid pieces. And of course, this was some of Mother's Lace. I don't know where she got this. It was a, probably at some, either a garage sale or maybe a outlet store or something because it's a big old, um, kind of a, I'll call it a bolt, I guess, of this lace on there. And I'm sure she didn't pay very much for it because she didn't do that. She was the original bargain hunter on one of them. want that rose to, or that flower to be kind of over the edge there. And I put glue on the end of that. I shouldn't have done that, but I did. So this is a dry baby wipe. They seem to pick up the glue without sticking to the, sticking to the glue too much. So I like to have that handy to, to uh, tap the paper or the lace or whatever in place. Okay. That's kind of over the edge of that, but I think that's okay. You can still, this is a pocket, a, a tuck pocket. You can still put something in here. Hopefully that will just make that a stronger um, hinge there for the book with that lace on that. I've got watercolor on that one. I was just trying to find one that didn't have too much glue on it. Okay. I think they got it down pretty good. Okay, now the next piece I want to put down is this one. And it's, it's a um, 
scrapbook page, scrapbooking paper page out of a book, this book, which I got, Designer Paper Vintage Treasures. I've had it for quite a long time. And I think I bought this one at Walmart. They might still have a similar thing, I don't know, but it seems like the quality of that paper that they have is not as good as this is, as it used to be, so. Anyway, I was looking at this and I read something down here about somebody drowning and <laughs> going to jail, so I kind of don't want that to show. I may just put it down into the pocket. I don't think I'm gonna cover the whole page with this. I think I'm going to have this come over. Um, maybe not that much. I just have a little bit there. Or I could just put it all the way up to the top and it might help with the, the bump with that. So maybe I'll just do that. times a charm. And it's getting where those those uh, fabric strips are not too evident anymore. Fabric tag around the edges just to make sure it didn't pop up. I just want to go out to the edge of there, pretty close. There's a little yellow. right there just to leave it like that. But I can't just leave it alone. <laughs> I have to do more. Okay. I need to tear that off a little bit on that edge, but not too much. And I think I'll use my ruler because I don't really want to ringing off into the embossed part of this. Oops, even with the ruler I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm gonna leave the other side straight. It's gonna be up against this edge and I think that'll be fine. Now I'm gonna take that up some toward the top. I wanted to show you my embossing folder that I did the embossing with. If you haven't seen these before, this is called an embossing folder, and it, this one has the design um, 
printed in black just on the cover so you know which side is the top. And the inside has, um, this is the raised side that pushes up from the bottom, it goes in there this way. And this side is the side that has the negative space. These two sides press together on the, on the paper and it creates the design that you see there. I want, my, I want my pocket down here. Whoops, that's upside down. It's not quite wide enough, but I think I'll just leave that little edge like that, just as, just as a little bit of uh, difference or something there. And hopefully that will be about where I want it to be. I think I'll fold that and then tear it. Hopefully that will work and not, uh, not end up with a mess. Get out my sharp edge ruler to do that. Maybe it'll work a little bit better, I don't know. The embossing causes that to be weak in those places. And so it, when you tear it, it kind of wants to go where it's weakest. That makes sense. Save that for another time. And I may just leave that. I don't know. Maybe that's kind of cute up there. Or I could turn it upside down. No, that that makes the flowers look upside down. I don't like that. I'm gonna take this off just a little bit. That's kind of too much. Okay. Do we like this? Do I like it? You know what, I think I may need to put a backing on this because it wants to curl up. So, um, maybe I will glue it to a piece of paper. If I have a, of all this paper, do I have a piece of paper I want to glue it to? I wonder if I could put it on this index card. I wonder how that would do. down a bit to do that. I think I'll do that because that's pretty pretty stiff and that might make it do better. Once again, I will tear the edge. Okay. And maybe I'll keep that one, the straight one on it and then I'll tear. I think that will work okay. And once again, my sticky glue page. I'm gluing on the, on the smooth part because I don't want to make the embossing flatten out by pressing on it with wet, semi-wet glue. The glue, the glue stick is not real wet. But I'm putting a lot on here because I want it to stay stuck. stickiness here. Okay. I 
think that will do better. And have some, not be so flimsy. And not crump, um, crinkle up here. I think I'll just put it on like that and have that tiny little border there when I, when I glue it down. I think that's what I'll do. And that's still looking kind of crumpled. Let's see if I can smooth this out some more. I'll give it a slight pressing with a credit card. I like this when I get this done. I kind of, I kind of just like that plane, but I'm already into it, so I guess I'll go ahead and call it dinner. And I plan to put a piece of lace, not this piece. I'm going to use some different lace, but put some lace here at the edge that's hanging off there. That's what I'm thinking. This is some lace I got at. Um, Walmart in their remnant bin and um, there's two yards of it and it's probably 60 inches wide so I'm I'm pretty well set for white lace for the foreseeable future of this kind and I thought I might just cut off a piece of this to put to hang off the edge of the front but do I want to have it where the roses are going right side up or sideways would be just a bit on this edge. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to cut me off a piece of this and figure it out once I get to that point. I'll use my fabric scissors on that. Oh, uh, let's see, where do I want to cut this? I think I'll cut about here. And just go across ways and down. I think I'm going to cut along there so that I have that edge. Or do I want it this way? That looks upside down. That looks right side up. Maybe it just goes every which way. I don't know. I'm just gonna do what I usually do and wing it. Okay. Probably could use that somewhere too. Alright, let's see. I'm just going to cut this up here and cut across here and just have it that way. Just whack it. Oh, maybe I should put it. Oh, it's too late to put it behind that paper that's kind of hanging out, but I could still put it behind the pocket, I suppose. Or I could put it on the front cover or on just on the edge. I kind of am liking that maybe. Something kind of like this. Put that lace there and maybe put something on top of that. Well, it's certainly got lace hanging off of it everywhere. I'll say that for it. I'm not going to decide about that right now. I think I can glue everything else down and think about that. And not this. I'm not going to do that yet. But I'm going to finish gluing these pieces in here. And 
have that like that and have the pocket down here just at the bottom it's probably going to need something decorative on that pocket too so i don't know maybe a piece just a piece of lace going across up here maybe I don't know. I think maybe this is one of those times I need to turn the camera off and think about it and come back to it in a while. So, um, I appreciate you watching for now and I'll be back. I'm Thanks. back after doing some more work on this inside page and I wanted to show you what I did. And so I, I did some more decorating on it. I, I glued the lace down here. I decided to add a little pocket down here and this is a die cut, um, just a uh, rectangle that has a ragged edge. A little bit of that wallpaper that I used, with, a little bit of this wallpaper that I cut a circle out of and just glued it to one piece of the cardstock to, to make it a little sturdy and not curl up. And then I just put a sticker on here that says artist. And, um, I made this tag. This tag is the one I made in my um, seven ways to use corrugated cardboard video. And um, I decided this would be a good place for it to have a home. So I put it in here. And this tag I made with just some stamped, this is a stamp I have that does script. And um, I had stamped it on some of the I think it was actually a page out of the original book that was blank that I stamped it on and added a little bit of the tan wallpaper behind it that was still floating around on my desk after finishing the other project and a stamp from um, Great Britain and one from, I believe this is, this is Czechoslovakia, I believe. And I mainly chose those for the colors. This one is a little bit on the purple side, but Purple is the complementary color of yellow, so I'm using that as my excuse. And just a little bit of doily, paper doily back there. And I used one of those um, hole reinforcers. I, I just inked it a little bit with the ink on this, my homemade dauber with a, uh, which has a chair pad, felt pad on it, on a uh, empty thread spool and it works fine. And, and I just put a little bit of um, yarn in the top. I used this yarn, which is cotton. It goes from thin, thick to thin, and then it's it's bound with a um, another thread twisted into it. And then just a little bit of some, um, I guess it's probably antique, because it's very old, um, baby rickrack in yellow. It was in my mother's things. And then on the back, I used another little bit of that um, wallpaper in a circle around the hole in the tag and stamped it with, these are French um, postmark stamps. And I think I'm gonna just clip the corners of this a little bit just to give it that finished look like that. I don't know if I got them even or not, maybe it doesn't matter. Anyway, that goes in this pocket with this. And since this lace is loose there, I, I have to put this one in and then slide the other one behind it or be careful when I do that. And then in this pocket, I made another tag. And this is from, this is coffee dyed laser paper. And this is another different piece of it, dyed darker. And this is a little um, die cut out scalloped piece like that, and a tiny bit of the wallpaper, a tiny bit of little lace there to cover up the staple that I stapled that all on with, and then the ribbon. And that's one of those stickers that has a clear background, and I hope it stays stuck. I should, probably should have put some glue on that to, to make it hold better. And then on the back, I just put a piece of uh, cotton fabric across the staple, which still shows there. I guess I could put something else there. Maybe at some time I will. And I might put a, a word down here or something like that. But for right now, it's just gonna live in this pocket. And I had trouble with the pocket being 
um, so tight and it, it kind of came loose on this edge. So I, when I re-glued it, I just kind of pressed it to the middle to put a little more space in there so that it wasn't so tight on the, on the tag. And, um, in this little tiny pocket, I just put this little, uh, piece of ephemera that, um, friend gave me. And this is a, um, a, a label die cut that came with, um, let's see, with this. It's this piece that cuts the label that goes on, on this, um, it makes, it has slots in it and it just makes a place to put other pieces, tickets or ephemera or pictures or whatever in there. And I just put those in here in that little pocket. And I have um, these postcards. These were a promotion from American Movie Classics um, that I've had for a long time. I don't, I don't even remember where I got them. I think it was probably at a bookstore but I'm not sure about that. But I really love these old cars and um, the glory days of Hollywood. I mean, the movies they were making then are the ones that appeal to me now, the black and whites and the, the mysteries and all of those things. So anyway, I stuck that up under here. And um, I think what I'm gonna do, because when I turn this page, that's not very pretty. So my next project is gonna be making a little piece to go in here that is just gonna be a fold over with some paper and some lace on it to, and a, maybe a rose or something on the outside to put something pretty showing through there. So anyway, that's where I am right now in the book. Don't have a lot done in it yet. I found this is, this is a um, embossed piece with some die cut places in it. And um, I thought it might work in the, in the book and I just stuck it under this uh, piece of tracing paper. So anyway, that's where we are and um, look forward to making more things to go in the book. Have this, I think I'm gonna glue on that page. That's one of my watercolor on book page pieces. And that's about all I have right now. So I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you next time. And I hope you enjoyed seeing how the book is coming along. See you later. Bye.